Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing all five of these waters. So this is a round two water comparison video. If you want more info about each of these waters, go back to round one and I'll give you more info, more details about them. Today this is mainly just a taste test. I'm gonna taste them all, decide which one I think tastes the best, to move on to round three. So this is the final round two comparison. The chart's coming to an end. This is the final one. We just did the final round one. This is the final round two. So we have Berkey. We have Light, high pH water. We have Alka Crisp or AK water. We have Goddess of Water. And we have True Clear water. We're just gonna do a taste test. So let's just open them up and get started. Here's the LYT water. This is light. This is a high pH of uh, over 9 pH in this water. Like I said before, it looks like a smart water kind of bottle. It's pretty big. So here we go. That's a good one. This specific bottle is kind of like wobbly. Like it's not actually level like the bottom must be a little bent or something because it's like not it's kind of wobbling around a little bit but i've had a few of these and sometimes i'll just chug them all at once and i feel good after drinking a whole bottle this big that's a good sign for a water if you can drink a lot of it and still like your stomach feels good your intestines feel good it's just to me that's a good sign of a good water not just the taste in your tongue but the taste inside of you too um here is the AK water. And by the way, I have no notes. I have no information to tell you. This is really just a taste test. This is a uh, double-sided label. AK, like an AK-47 water. This is also a high pH water. It's like uh, between nine and 10. So it's, that's very high, that's very high pH. Um, a little bit of like a cough drop aftertaste to it. You know, thumbs up to both of these so far, but getting like a little cough drop, cough syrup, very mild taste to it at the end. This is the goddess of water. This is in like a pouch. Um, on the on the label, they talk about how it being in a pouch um, prevents growth of like bacteria and stuff in the inside because I guess well, that doesn't even make sense because don't bacteria grow in dark spaces don't they like dark spaces doesn't UV light kill bacteria but anyway the label says the pouch is supposed to be good for water because it's pitch black and no light gets inside and um, it's supposed to prevent it from getting contaminated and when I read that, it reminded me that I forgot to mention in my last video that this, it being in metal, is supposed to do the same thing. It's supposed to prevent light from getting inside. It's supposed to prevent stuff from growing inside of there. So, I think, I think what it is is not having light prevents algae growth and prevents like plants from growing. But I don't think it would prevent bacteria. I think bacteria can grow perfectly fine. A dark space. It's supposed to have like a bunch of uh, bicarbonate and other minerals. It's supposed to have a little bit of sodium, some calcium. It's tasting like very, uh, almost like a distilled water, like very low TDS. That's what I'm getting a taste of right now. All right. Here's the True Clear. This is a Staples water. I think it is. Like, I've only seen this sold at Staples, so. I think it might also be a Niagara water. That's what it looks like. It's kind of, in person, it's hard to see the label. It, it, well, I'm colorblind, so maybe it's just the colors, but kind of like hard to read but okay 
this has like a plasticky taste to it. Like, I've drank in a ton of Niagara waters and Nestle waters. And I'm used to that taste. I'm used to the taste of the, the thin plastic. But this one feels like even stronger of a taste than it normally has. Okay. I'm going to just eliminate this to begin with. Because out of the four, it's noticeably worse. Here's the Berkey water. Yeah, sorry with the Berkey, it's like the flavor keeps like changing. It had like a charcoal taste at first, and then like a sweeter taste. Now it's kind of just like a clean water kind of taste to it. Like I'm not really picking up any tastes. Which is a good thing. What you don't want is your water to taste like bacteria or like dirt or you know, sewage. Those are all bad things. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, here's the light water again. Okay. And this is why I'm bringing the water chart to an end, because I, like, I have nothing to say about these. I've run out of adjectives to describe water with. Um, this is another wet one. Um, no bad aftertaste with it. Go back to this. Yeah, no. <laughs> very, very similar taste. Um, let's try this one again. AK water. Yeah, okay, I'm going to eliminate this one. Because out of these three... If I had to pick one of these three to pick again, to drink again right now, I would not pick this one. Like, um, kind of like a soft taste to it. Um, how do you describe it? It's like, kind of like you can just feel it on, the, on your cheeks a little bit after you drink it. And like I said before, like, cough drop taste in the back of your throat. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's causing that, but I'm eliminating that water. And let me just remind you all again, all five of these waters beat another water in round one. All five of these are perfectly good waters to drink. All five get a thumbs up. If you you know, have these available to drink, go ahead, they're perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with them, I'm just being super nitpicky because I have to pick a winner, like, I have to, I need to pick one to move on to the next round, um, but I would be perfectly fine drinking any of these waters, like, any day. pretty good. <sighs> this is tough, because, like, all three of these are pretty good. There's no, like, clear winner. There's true clear, but there's no clear winner. Berkey looks pretty clean to me. A little bit of fingerprints on there, but it's just the glass, it's not the water. The Berkey has the same thing as this, where you can drink a lot of this, and you're going to feel, like, like not sick. You're not going to feel, like, you have an upset stomach or anything. Because I have. I've done, like, four water, four water videos for the channel with the Berkey in a row, and I feel fine. Okay... Be 
very boring to watch. How's your day going, people watching this? What's going on in your life? Leave a comment. Uh, let me know. Goddess of Water is kind of an interesting name, but it's kind of confusing because they're not very clear that this is just water. Like, Goddess of Water could just be a brand name, and then you, you're left, like, looking around, like, well, what is this? What am I drinking? Is this some kind of juice or something? Um, so that's a little confusing. I do like that they have, like, the metallic parts on the packaging. So it's, like, shiny on some parts of it. It's because the inside of the packaging is shiny, so I guess they just don't print the white on top of that. So that's that. This is a water from Spain. Lift your light, light water. All right, I'm going to say the winner. Is this one in the middle? The light water. So like I said earlier, if I had to pick one to drink more of right now, I would go with this. It seems very pure, very clean. Um, and like I said, it's a wet water. And um, maybe it's just what I'm in the mood for right now. Like maybe if I did the same video a year from now, maybe I would, have a, I would have a different taste. You know, what we crave changes from time to time. Sometimes you're in the mood for pizza for dinner. Sometimes you're in the mood for a salad. Sometimes you're in the mood for watermelon. And some days you're not in the mood for any of that stuff. You know, your tastes just change. Your cravings change. So to one day one water might be good. The next day you might prefer a different water. But today, as I'm doing this review, I'm liking this one the most and I don't have any way to explain it more than that I'm just liking this light water high pH water so congratulations you're moving on to the next round round three it's gonna be the final round three also then the final round four then the final round five and then in round six, we're going to pick the winner. And that's it. And the reviews are all over. Okay. Goodbye.